Hello lovely people, my name is Sasha and this is Love Builds Up Crafts. Let's see what we're loving today and how we're going to use it to build up our crafting skills. Today I've got here with me, had the Happy Holidays, Happy Holidays um, set which is from Tonic Studios of course. <laughs> so they have sent this to me but trust me anything that I tell you is definitely my own opinion. I do not have the capacity to oversell anything. <laughs> so whatever I tell you, best believe it's from my really, really honest view. So this Happy Holidays set, it says it's a Christmas um, Christmas tree collection. Decorate your Christmas tree in multiple multitude ways. So there's a few card designs over here that you can see. Uh, at the back that's really cool and some more over here which are cool as well so we've got a stencil here i love this stencil i might have to take these things out of the packaging so that the glare doesn't like blind everyone so let me just move it to the side and like quickly just remove them out of the packaging but I just thought I'd note that with the die, okay, with the dies, this is how it comes packaged. It comes in this plastic wallet and in a magnetic sheet. You still get your plastic packaging, right? Which I would strip off all those things, the the sticky bits, and reuse definitely because it's cheaper than as buying acetate. Well, or not, whatever. But it does come with a magnetic sheet, which is so awesome. So, and that, so that's how it's packaged, you know, plastic sleeve with a magnetic sheet. So you can transfer it later on. So those are three things that we have. I really, really like this stamp set. Let me just get the backing paper. I really like this stamp set. Just the whole way that it's been illustrated is so cool it's like so hip when i saw it i immediately thought of hand lettered cards and like i got so excited this is such a beautiful stuff even the stencil is like so exciting i'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like snow over a tree but what i have done is i've cut out the dies because when they're like this you can't really see you can see they're christmas trees but you can't really see much so i have cut them out and um let me just grab a lighter so this is what we have we have this one that says happy holidays like that that won't come out but you know i probably should have run it more times so this tree says happy holidays and this one is just a really decked out nicely decorated tree look at that it's got bubbles stars everything so definitely like this one i think will be so gorgeous for paper pissing and then this one as well probably maybe for layering some of that offset layering and then oh sorry and then I've also cut out some of these little dies. There were a lot of them, these little dies. So I didn't cut everything because uh, I'm lazy. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. I, uh, I just got bored. I was like, no way. I'm not cutting out all of this. Okay. Because I don't have an electric die cutting machine. It's actually work. So I did cut out this, which cuts out this thing, which I'm guessing is a present and they should be a bow somewhere oh yeah see there's a bow stamp right there and there's actually like that stamp that stamp so you can stamp and then use the square die thing to cut it out or you can just cut out a present and then use the bow i think that cuts out a bow i think that's the die that cuts out the bow then cut out the bowl and add it there. There's also ornaments there, little snowflake, I think. And then more ornaments, some stars. And uh, yeah, oh, and this little thing that says ho, ho, ho. It's quite hard to read, but it does say ho, ho, ho. 
and then this thing that i'm assuming is another present like that like a long present yeah i'm pretty sure that's that so maybe you can stamp and then layer this over the top i don't know like this is what excites me the tree itself that's what i'm excited about so i haven't stamped these down but then also we get these stencils because you can if you just use these um if you just use these inside bits just this without the frame because as you can see the frame comes off without the frame it will cut into your paper so if you want to cut out a full tree you're gonna have to use your your frame to cut that out okay so oh my god it's not getting back inside okay so if you want to cut out you're going to need your frame okay and then this is what you get when you use your frame if you don't use your frame this is what you get i tried it out earlier and this is what you get let me just you see you get that tree and then you can probably paper piece it or do some shakery things yeah so anyway i was saying we've got these which make really great stencils especially because i think this is meant to be like snow it's meant to be like snow over your tree i don't know we are going to try out this stencil because i need to know how it works okay i i'm pretty sure if you stencil like some uh glacier paste or something over it first like you ink blend your tree maybe and then stencil some uh, some glacier paste with this i'm sure it would look like a tree covered in snow i don't know and then you've got this other tree design here maybe that that this is to add snow maybe i don't know we're going to do some basic ink blending so that we can see what that is but i thought it was cool that you get stencils as well because i do love using my own diy stencils because for things like glimmer paste and glitter paste so that i don't get it all dirtied up so i'm just going to grab like a piece of paper and then just grab a brush one of these brushes this is salvage patina it's got some ink on there i'm not going to use any ink dip it in any ink i'm just going to use what's there because i just want to see what the stencil does what the stencil does oh how i miss my magnetic platform i'm so going to make sure that these kids pay me <laughs> Okay, so should I just do that as well? Might as well. But I think so at this point my camera stopped recording and I didn't realize. I'm so sorry guys. But basically this is what the stencil image looks like and you will see what it looks like in more of the samples that I'm going to show you now. And also I'm doing a voiceover from here on so there will be a visible change in the audio. So first up we've got this modern take on a Christmas card. I really wanted to try something different because I don't normally use red but I wanted to try some crackle mousse because it's one of those things that gets forgotten once you buy it you don't know what to do with it so i just thought i'll try this out so what i did is i stenciled with the crackle mousse it's from the santa's workshop trend i'm not sure of the name at the moment but i will link it in the description then when that was dry i went over it with some pink embellishment mousse and that makes it glow you can sort of see like it's glowing and i just fell in love with that i I went over the edges with some white gel pen just to add that extra um, glow effect to it. I really liked the tree when it was done. I was like, oh my God, my tree looks lit. It looks like it's like 
got lights but it hasn't so anyway I then went ahead and stamped some presents and I colored them using some red and pinks from the Nouveau alcohol markers I I went and splattered uh, did some splatters over a card with some uh, I think it's called morning fork sparkle spray and then um as I I did it I didn't seal it because you know it's sparkle spray if you don't seal it it still continues to spread so I went to do the bottom bit of that background with my alcohol marker pen well alcohol marker duh <laughs> and then it was pulling some of the sparkle spray down with it as I was coloring so I liked it I decided to do the bottom half like that and I kept the top half the same and then I stamped that Christmas time it's from the bottom bit of the Christmas stamp like the tree stamp itself that Christmas time is from the bottom bit and then I stuck on my tree with some foam tape and that's it so sticking to the theme of modern Christmas cards we've got this one as well which I absolutely love so what I did is I stamped uh, using glitter markers one of them is the iced ivy one from the Santa's workshop trend and uh, I will link the names of all the ones I used for this um, card in the description below but what I did is I made sure that the top was black I paid special attention to make sure that the top was black and it was pointed to give the impression of a tree but a tree that's not really there I thought I was being clever so that the color then looks like it's like spreading just from nowhere. I don't know. I just wanted that effect. So the bottom was stamped with color and the top was very carefully stamped with black um, glitter marker. So then I then used some of the dotted stamps and the stars from the set. There's like a star stamp and these dotted ones and then some lines I just added some lines with a black pen and some um colored gel pens basically and then I went over some of it with some white gel pen I think this would be a cool card for like a young adult because it looks like a personalized hand lettered card so I think that would be cool a lot of hard work and love went into this card I tell you but this is my baby I love it so much so what happened is I did a watercolor background using some aqua flow pens and then I stenciled over that background once it was dry I stenciled over it with some moonstone glimmer paste and waited for that to dry then when that was dry I took some coloring pencils I did the edges of that tree with a black coloring pencil and gave it more definition and then I also sh lightly shaded with matching colors over some of the bits of the tree so where there's pink I did some pink light shading with the coloring pencil just to give it that variation like of different shades and then when that was done I fussy cut out the whole tree and then I stamped using the middle part I think of the Christmas tree stamp I stamped and and he embossed Wonderland Christmas with white embossing powder and then I added some foam tape to the back of that um, fussy cut out tree and I stuck it so that that Wonderland Christmas was still part of the tree and I then uh, stamped some uh, stars with sparkle I think it's called sparkle or shimmer powder from tonic I will link it in the description below and then when those were heat embossed I went over them with some coloring pencil just to give them that look of a glowing star and then I also uh, stenciled some using the same moonstone glimmer paste I stenciled some more stars so glimmer paste on white or light colored color stock is translucent but then on black cardstock it's like this holographic greenish color I'm not quite sure uh, how else to describe it <laughs> but you can see there those uh, goldish greenish stars that's it so I used my Nouveau coloring pencils to do this whole thing uh, where I colored the edges just to give it that glow. This card here is my take on a traditional Christmas card because you've got the colors and you've got the dark dark Christmas tree but then you also have this modern abstract background which I then think gives it that twist on the traditional card. So what I did is I used my sparkle sprays and I know those are collecting dust in your craft room so whip them out and let's make this one 
the background i might do a tutorial for this let me know in the comments below if you want a tutorial because explaining this is really difficult but basically i used a paint brush to just blotch on some of that um shimmer some of the shimmer sprays and i mixed some of them with some white acrylic paint so that some bits are matte and some bits are shiny i really think a tutorial would be would explain this better and then i took some glossy black cardstock and I cut out two layers of it and then I stuck it down and I filled in all the gaps with some dream drops and then I stuck that whole panel onto some more glossy cardstock just to give that frame I then hit embossed that sentiment from uh the tree I think yeah so now we've got something a bit traditional to make this card I took the letter stamp and then I just used some clear mug embossing ink and I stamped randomly literally randomly some of the words are upside down some of them are sideways and then I just dried it without adding any embossing powder to maintain that matte look because I like the effect of that matte look I then took the Christmas the Christmas sorry Christmas tree dye the one with the decked out design and I embossed it you can't really see it on the camera but in real life you can see that it's embossed onto that background just to add a bit more interest to that card and then when that was done I took my gel pen the green and the white gel pen and I just went some of the letters just giving it a highlight here and there and I took a coloring pencil and I shaded in some of the bigger gappy letters like Christmas and festivities and when that was done I made my tree so to make my tree I really like the way this tree came out okay so what I did first is I stenciled with uh the bottom of that is mint mojito chalk mousse sorry no the bottom of the tree is embellishment mousse yeah i can't remember the color but it was on the santa's trend workshop so the bottom of the tree is embellishment mousse and then the top of the tree is mint mojito chalk mousse and i just like that contrast of the shiny and then matte i just love it it's really effective in real life and then i took my glitter marker uh iced ivy glitter marker and i painted in all the gaps there that you see there and i also did the edges there and then i took my white pigment ink and shaded the bottom of the tree i don't know why i did that but then i liked the effect once it was done because it just gave it like this gradient of color and then I also took that same tree that I used to emboss the background and I embossed some of the pattern onto the tree there you can see that the tree has a bit of like a 3d mood thing on it yeah and then I also took my embossing pad and did the edges in gold just to add extra interest like, I'm not going to lie this card is like one of my favorite things ever okay one of my favorite things that i've ever created first of all this print yeah you know i love mixed media okay i am like a mixed media baby at this point and i just want to learn and absorb it all so i was like so proud of this print so uh what i did is i took some chalk mousse the mint mint something mint mojito and i spread it randomly with a spatula and then i took some of this uh expanding mousse i uh, forgot the color as well but i'll check and i spread it as well using the spatula but in lighter layers obviously after the chalk mousse had dried and then i also took my paintbrush and added some white acrylic paint and then i just did this brush marks and then when that was dry I went in and just rubbed my finger, put some glue, like I literally just dabbed some glue on my finger and just rubbed it randomly. And then I added gold gilding flakes to that as well. And that's the tree that you get. But what I like to make the tree, I cut out. So first I cut out a base shape 
okay out of black cardstock and then i cut out one of the white panels like some the decorative ones and then i cut out another one in a different design so i cut out one of these right and then i cut out uh the happy holidays one and i just layered them one over the other and then i cut it in the middle yeah and then I stuck my sentiment there that says Merry Christmas. So I used the tree again to stamp this Merry Christmas because I wanted the larger Merry Christmas. So I think there's a Merry in the stamp set, but then the Christmas is definitely from the tree. And then uh, I added the top bit because when I cut it off, it was just a square top. So I just cut off a bit of the top of a tree and I added that top bit okay i hope that makes sense so this tree spins around okay it spins around and i think like i just love this car it spins around and what's great about it is you can take it off right see it's got a magnet and you can pop it on your fridge just in case you want to decorate more than just your house so that the card is still like you can still display it even though your tree is off i did i i did some embossing on just a plane i just heat embossed with some of this sparkle um sparkle sparkle <laughs> sparkle uh to embossing powder yeah uh, uh so that when you display it it's still a nice design guys i really tried because i love this design and also to make it a bit more professional oops let me just that's just excess glue to make it a bit more professional i did stencil some of this just in case someone looks at the back <laughs> you know what people are like so i used these tonic magnets i think you can get them in a pack and i did stick them on with super glue I used E6000 super glue and I just stuck them because I want them, I don't want it to fall apart with all the pulling and pulling back. Yeah. But guys, I just really love this card. I just love this card. Not only is it fun, but it is like so super chic. I just, guys, like, I don't know. It's going to be hard for me to send this one in because, um, I want to keep it for myself. I really love this card, guys. I even took pictures of the print because I was so proud of my print. Oh, we've got some stray gilding flakes. Because <laughs> I, I was just so proud of this print, guys. So anyway, I have to send it off. But hopefully they'll appreciate it as much as I do and they'll understand it the way that i do so next up we've got this acetate shaker frame card guys this card is so special just imagine getting that through the post oh my goodness it was a lot of hard work because it was the first time i did it but i'm sure the next time i do it it will be much easier because then i know the logistics so i added i used some of the snowflake sequins uh, and some falling snow glitter to make that shaker frame thing um i think it's called a shaker frame yeah uh, and then to make the background, what I did is I heat embossed in gold. I heat embossed my tree there with the letters. And then I cut out a bigger triangle shape and I laid it over that. Um, yeah, I laid it over that to cover my uh, embossing my embossing yeah <laughs> guys i don't know why i can't speak all of a sudden to cover my embossing and then i sprayed the shimmer sprays the sparkle sprays everywhere i think i used black and some green and then the red i will link them in the description below and then when that was done i didn't like that it had a harsh edge so i took a wet wipe and i just splotted around just to give the edge a little of a, a bit of a fuzz so that it wasn't so harsh and then when that was done i sprayed it with some hairspray to seal the shimmer in because you know the mica goes everywhere if you don't seal it in you can also use a proper sealer i just use hairspray and then i cut out some gold uh a frame out of gold inca cardstock but then when you open this card 
because I wanted it to be like a bit more special. So I also created a shaker pocket sort of situation. And then uh, what I should have done is added a picture. If I had a holiday picture, I would have added a picture to that background there because that would have been so cool. So this is uh, just... Uh, <laughs> I just get excited just looking at this shaker tag. I think I'm going to do a tutorial for this because explaining it is really a lot. So I'm just going to talk about this charm here, which I made out of shrink plastic. And uh, I will show you the process because it is quite um a process. <laughs> it requires patience and I use some glazing uh, is it called crystal glaze yeah crystal glaze just to seal in everything and it also gives in that domed shape so that your little charm can last longer and I there was some stamping on acetate as well I stamped the presents on some acetate using stays on ink guys I'm gonna do the tutorial because I really can't explain in detail how I made this but oh <laughs> Okay, in the tutorial, I don't know if I'm going to sew on the gem, the diamond there, because I did sew it on because I was going to send it off. I didn't want it to fall off. So I don't know if I'm going to have that level of commitment in the tutorial. <laughs> I'm just being honest, guys, because it is a lot of work. You want your samples to be really good, but then, you know, they didn't even show this. So oh, I don't know. The hard work was for nothing, but I just love it, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so I also made this uh keychain, yeah, this keychain charm, uh, to go with your little nouveau, uh, shopping trolley things that you got during birthday week. I thought it was so cute because now you can gift it to someone if you're a cheapskate like me and you don't want to buy gifts. You can just make this cute little charm. And then uh, stick it on one of these and hey, hey, <laughs> you've got a personalized charm. So like I said, I'll do a tutorial so you see how I did that. But this one has some holographic embossing powder on the back and um, it really adds a cool effect to it. So, so these two are my favorites of all the samples. But then I also like this card here and I like I like all my makes from this I'm not gonna lie I did send in everything even though they only asked for two or three I did send in everything because I just couldn't choose I just loved this set and I had so much fun making all these cards so if you want to make some of these cards with me then let me know in the comments below which ones you'd like to see a tutorial for and because you want to see a tutorial make Make sure you hit uh, the notification bell when you subscribe so that you get a notification yes please subscribe to the channel because i would love to have your support if you're a tonic lover get this set if you're not a tonic lover get this set because with this set you can make all your christmas cards honestly i'm not even joking just look at these all these are all different types of designs so whether you're traditional or modern or whatever this set caters for all of that so guys that has been me for today it's been so lovely to have your time